is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. It's Feast of the Three Kings Day! Hey, Melchior, Belfazar, and Gaspar. Thanks for visiting Jesus. <laughs> I'm bringing him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But I guess we kind of have the same thing here. Because we have gold, which is the raffle for the $5 to see who becomes king for a day. We have frankincense, which is icing. And myrrh, which is this beautiful, <coughs> what do you call this? Party. Funfetti. Funfetti. Yellow cake. So every year, I don't know when we started this tradition, but we've always celebrated Feast of the Three Kings Day since I've been a parent. And that's about 22 years, right, Chris? <laughs> so, yeah, every year, well, we used to put a baby in the, we used to have a plastic baby that we used to put in the cake. Because we used to buy it. No? No? Yes. No. The baby came with the cake. That was a few years ago. We had a plastic baby, but, like, way, way, way in the beginning, there was pla we had a plastic baby. I don't know what happened to it. But that's like a whole Mardi Gras tra tradition because it's king cake time from Feast of the Epiphany until Fat Tuesday. That's when it's acceptable to eat king cakes. So we, bu we bought a king cake on Mardi Gras. That's where the baby came from. All right, so like I said, we have our funfetti. And somebody's been digging in the frosting. Wonder who that could be, Maddie and Daddy. I guess it's the rhyming names. So first we're going to dirty ice this, like on Cake Boss or <laughs> Ace of Cakes, not really. I'll be surprised if it doesn't like um, totally melt and drip and everything because um, it's still warm. It just came out of the oven. I was planning on having a real feast today, but I had to work until 4.30. So my husband, in his infinite wonderfulness, said, Honey, you shouldn't have to cook after you work today, especially a feast. That's not much of a feast for you, so we're going to get pizza, <laughs> which I really consider a feast. So yeah, tomorrow <coughs> night we're going to have what I was saying tonight, which is Satan chicken cutlet parmesan. So, I can't wait for that, because that's one of my favorite dishes to make with seitan. And, I have to say, I made the muesli, which is what I call granola, recipe from the British uh, vegetarian magazine this morning, and it is phenomenal. I'm going to have to be doing that as a cooking vlog because I want to share that with everybody because that is really spectacular. Almost ready for the strawberries. I really like this whipped frosting. It's much easier to spread. <coughs> I'll do the raffle in a few minutes too. Yeah. Who's going to get the old five bucks? Five bucks. That's like a classic book at Barnes & Noble. <laughs> or a half a coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't usually drink Starbucks. All right, so that's good. Should um, should probably put it on here too, like glue. I don't know. Remember that old video of you, Maddie? Yes. Build a cake. That was one of our first videos. I was pretty proud of that video. So poor Maddie was supposed to be doing this today, but she's sick. That's her coughing in the background, by the way, in case you didn't realize. So yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. I wasn't planning on doing it like this at first, and then I decided to do it like this, because it almost looks like a king's crown with those little um, points that a crown has. Sean's probably not going to like the strawberries. Too bad. If you get to eat the cake, you have to suffer with the fruit if you don't like fruit. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. And these strawberries, even though they're not in season, are really delish. What? I just ate that.
O Melchior, Balthazar, and Gaspar, three kings. <laughs> Yay, three kings cake. And here's the gold frankincense <coughs> and myrrh that they brought. Right in the middle. How about that? Isn't that cool? <laughs> now we'll do a Stonehenge. What's with the poo pile in the middle? <laughs> I don't know. I just went with it. Look at that. It's like Feast of Three Kings Stonehenge tribute. That's pretty awesome, if I must say so myself. It reminds me of um, European vacation when they backed into Stonehenge and all the things fell down. So yeah. All right, let's do the raffle. Sean won. Yay, this is what a losing ticket looks like. You lose. And this is the ticket that Sean got. <coughs> you are king for a day. <laughs> so here's the three kings cake all done. <coughs> Cough it up, Mad. What do you have to say? Much love. Hey, Maddie, what are you doing over there? <laughs> you suck! <laughs>